हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी बाय संतोष नवते फ्रेंड्स ऑलरेडी यू नो दैट आई एम अपलोडिंग मेनी वीडियोस ऑन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल रिगार्डिंग सिलेबस ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी मोस्टली दैट मे बी ऑफ फर्स्ट ईयर सेकंड ईयर और फाइनल ईयर सम मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन विल बी यूजफुल फॉर यूर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एग्जाम्स इंक्लूडिंग सेट नेट गेट और जे आर एफ at the same time i am also uploading the videos regarding different opportunities in this life sciences field at the same time there are some videos are also there regarding your new career or opportunities in different or new career or career field so in today's video i am going to inform or giving the information about the emerging career in india that is career in genetic counseling or career as a genetic counselor so friends all of you know that there are so many diseases are there which can be transmitted from one generation to the next generation and these diseases these are nothing but the genetic diseases or these are called as genetic disorders so nowadays there are these families or that couples they are aware about these genetic disorders and they are moving for genetic counseling so here there is a role of genetic counselors so to counsel or to guide these parents or these couples about the future or the diseases or genetic disorders which can be or whether that genetic diseases or disorders can occur in next generation or not so here i am going to explain or giving the information about this why that genetic counseling is necessary what is the role of genetic counselors and if you want to become a certified genetic counselor so how to become that genetic counselor or certified genetic counselor so that information i am going to give in this video so friends if you are not upload subscribe this microbiology by santosh natte so kindly subscribe this youtube channel and at the same time you can like share this video so that those who are confusing about their career so that video or this video will be helpful for them to make a right decision regarding their career so let's see about the genetic counseling and how to become a certified genetic counselor so first of all why genetic counseling is necessary so genetic counseling it is a process as we know by which that patients parents families or clinicians these are informed about the inheritance pattern of traits or is there any genetic disorders are present in that families or that couples and how these genetic diseases or disorders can be transmitted to the next generation or to their offsprings so this type of information it is given to the parents or to the clinicians and this genetic counseling it involves the different aspects for example there is a diagnostic part is also there because when particular family goes to the genetic counselors so these genetic counselors they counsel them about a diagnosis also because if there is a diagnosis is there so at that time it become possible to prevent the transmission of that uh, defective trait we can say here or that disease we can say to the next generation then another one is here giving information to the clinicians also so that proper treatment will be there about to that parents or to the that couples here and another one part that is nothing but the support so if there is a uh, if that uh, parents or that families they are having some genetic disorders in their history also for example or in them or that couples so that can be counseled by the genetic counselor and therefore whatever that defects will become in the future so that defects can be prevented or the severity of that disease can be lowered down so that's why this genetic counseling is important or it is necessary now next is who requires genetic counseling so there are different criteria are there or that different uh, aspects we can see here and in that cases these parents or these pupils 
they require genetic counseling for example if in that particular family if that one particular disease is there in the some members of that family for example so they wanted to know whether that disease will be occurring the other members of that family or not or whether that disease can be transmitted to the next generation or upcoming generation so this is the one type of members we can see here because of which they want to know that uh, whether that disease get transmitted or not and that's why they require genetic counseling in such cases second one is here if one particular children for example in that family if that children is transmitting from the genetic disorder so in such cases also they want to know whether the another children's or the new pregnancy uh, will emerge that particular disease or not so for this also these peoples these parents they require genetic counseling and third one is there if there are suppose many cases or many incidences in the same family regarding cancer for example so they can go for counseling or genetic counseling to check or to know whether this cancer can be occur in the upcoming generations or upcoming family uh, members so that's why so these are the different uh, parameters we can see here or that different reasons are there these peoples these parents they want genetic counseling now if you want to become a genetic counselor or certified genetic counselor so how to become that certified genetic counselor so there is a one board is there which is named as board of genetic counselor and it is registered under the government of telangana so they take some exam and they certify that persons or that students or that pupils as a certified genetic counselor so we will know about how to become a certified genetic counselor or by this board of genetic counseling hyderabad now friends <coughs> if you want to become a certified or a bgci certified genetic counselor so you can become a certified genetic counselor by giving the or by clearing the exam of this board of genetic counseling which is located in hyderabad and it is a, a registered institute that is registered under the government of telangana india so this is the eligibility criteria so there are different categories are there for the eligibility and for applying to become a certified genetic counselor under this bgc that is board of genetic counseling so those individuals who have completed an accredited genetic counseling course from india or equivalent or from any other country so if you are you have pursued or if you have completed or if you are a qualified uh, genetic counselor course that may be from india or from other country so you are eligible to become a certified genetic counselor under this bgci second one is here or second eligibility criteria is if you have completed a formal training or educational course in genetic counseling of at least one year duration so if you have completed one year duration course or training of uh, genetic counseling so it you will also eligible to become a certified genetic counselor under this bgci then individuals who have completed 12 plus 4 years of courses that means after 12 if your course it is of 4 years under life sciences that may be medicine that may be psychology or sociology or nursing or related fields with relevant clinical counseling experience so at that time experience is required here so in that case also you can become a, a certified genetic counselor or you can apply for the examination then individuals currently working or worked in genetics or genomics lab so that individuals having the counseling to the patients experience of counseling to the patients for more than 3 years so that candidates or that individuals also become a certified genetic counselor by this bgci but that is after examination okay then individuals with masters or phd degree in human genetics with clinical counseling experience so they can also apply for this exam by bgci and they can become a certified genetic counselor and there are some special categories of senior members are there who can support bgc in the in guiding planning courses or training so 
that also that criteria is also given here okay so this is about the eligibility criteria the next point is here that is about the certificate examination actually this is the notification for this uh, this year examination here so for up upcoming examination you keep updated or you can visit this website here for upcoming examination or like that and here so that examination generally it is consist of mcqs with main focus on genetics and its applications to the genetic counseling and later on it is followed by the interview so then you can appear for the examination or later on you can become a that uh, certified bgci certified genetic counselor here there are some links are given that is to download the syllabus then click here to register as a bgci application form and click here to download the recertification form so in this way if you want to become a bgci certified genetic counselor that is board of genetic counselor so you have to appear for the first you have to fulfill this eligibility criteria and then you have to appear for the examination and here that assessment criteria is given when you will click on that will be downloaded and you can check that assessment criteria so in this way this is a good career we can see here and uh, you can uh, choose your career as a genetic counselor and that will be help to the parents or to the pupils to manage to decide their progenies or to whether they to know the information about whether that will be genetically uh, or there is a genetic disorders or not so thank you for watching this video and share with your friends also thank you